morning to you. I'm Teresa Dufour with the CT Style Express. Now, during this uncertain time, many people have questions about personal injury and workers' compensation. That's why News 8 has partnered with the Goff Law Group to bring you the law down. Attorney Brooke Goff joins us back again via Zoom. Attorney Goff, thanks for being here. I don't know if you're going to get me back in the studio after this. I'm getting used to, like, you know, the Zoom thing. So It's kind of <laughs> nice doing it from your house. I'm not going to lie either. Uh, but I just... I want to ask you about um, the pandemic. I mean, you guys have really been business as usual and super busy at that. We have um, super busy, uh, which is an anomaly I've heard in these times, which is okay, but it's, it's been super busy. Clearly people are still driving their cars because I'm getting tons of car accidents. People are getting hurt at work. They're going back to work. I'm getting tons of those. Um, so yeah, we're busy um, and uh, which is great, especially for us, but um, you uh, were fully remote, so my clients don't know it, right? Well, they do because I told them, but they would never know it because um, we are it's efficient and it works really well. Uh, they've made no changes, um, and our change was very easy. So, yeah. Business as usual. We like the sound of that. All right, so we're focusing uh, on workers' comp today in a roundabout way. I, wa I want to ask you a question. A lot of people are doing home shopping. They're getting deliveries. What happens when one of those delivery workers, whether it's Amazon, FedEx, whatever, hurts themselves while at your house on the job? Seems complicated. It, and it is complicated. <laughs> and most people don't realize. So let's use the um, Amazon employees for a second, because many of these people are employed by a company. You want to make sure they're not self-employed individuals, because we're going to pretend like this doesn't apply to what I'm going to say doesn't apply to them, because there's a whole other set of rules. Let's say they're employees of a company like Amazon, they were like, Amazon, by the way, isn't the, really the people that deliver your packages. Usually they're employees of other companies with the truck, but, um, uh, uh, or uh, FedEx, something, something like this. So if these people are going on your property and let's say they're delivering a package and they get bit by your dog or they slip and fall on your property, if you have a raised edge of your sidewalk and they trip over it, what happens, right? Well, they are going to bring a claim uh, for workers comp, right? Because they're an employee of somebody, they're gonna bring the comp claim, but they're also gonna sue you as the homeowner, right? I mean, look, they could trip over their own feet delivering a package and still bring a comp claim, but the homeowner comes in when they trip over a defect on the property, your sidewalk, um, you know, and let me tell you, everybody's home shopping these days, right? These guys are walking around, these women, and they're tired. Um, so they may not be as like, you know, cat-like reflexes, but I can assure you that people are falling. I'm getting the cases. They're tripping over lips on the sidewalk. I had a, a woman bit by a dog the other day that jumped the backyard. Trust me when I tell you guys, um, these claims are being brought. And as a homeowner, you have exposure under your homeowner's insurance. Yeah. So you have to be prepared. If you order that package, make sure it's safe. I mean, because it's going to come back to the homeowner. So here's the thing. So the homeowner might be like, well, I didn't know they were coming at that, but you kind of do, right? So Amazon is very good about sending you tracking information. In fact, if you have like an Alexa thing, have Alexa, it says, hey, your package is being delivered today. Congratulations. Okay. So if you know a package is coming, you have a duty to make sure that the walkways are clear. Um, if, it's, if it's ice and snow outside, salt it. Guys, trust me, this will come back and bite you royally. Um, and going on with that, so most of these people get lawyers because the process is complicated, right? So um, I represent many people that um, are hurt at work at somebody's home due to a homeowner negligence, right? So let's say somebody's delivering a package, they slip and fall on an icy sidewalk, right? Sidewalk that belongs to the homeowner. Mm -hmm. It's important that you choose an attorney that does both workers' comp and third-party cases. Uh, Third-party cases are sexy, right? So they, you get a bigger fee, attorneys love them, blah, 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 whatever. But... At the end of the day, so those attorneys might be like, hey, I'll take the dog bite part of it, the, the part that is against the homeowner, the sexy pay me a lot of money part of it. And by the way, for workers' comp, you can go somewhere else. But that doesn't work because what ends up happening is they send you somewhere else on a comp case, not to get into too much detail, but how we settle these third-party cases against the homeowner is a lot of times we'll have workers' compensation waive their lien. Right, and then go, that money goes back to the client, and they actually can see an extra uh, tens of thousands of dollars on the back of the third-party settlement. If there's a workers' comp attorney in the background, they're not going to let that lien get waived, right? They want to get paid, sure. so the case is parallel. So don't fall for the hey, look, I'll take the sexy third-party case and pass you down the stream to my buddy Jack Smith over here. Don't do that. The same attorney takes the same case, or you walk. Very good. Important information. Attorney Goff. Also, fun things happening on your social media pages these days. 
bad bacon sips are like taken off. So uh, those are fun. I don't know if you've seen any of them, but uh, yeah. So, so we're doing a ton of contests. We have a bunch of contests coming up. Uh, the rock painting uh, pens just came in from Amazon and my walkways were clear. And um, this is what we're going to do with our seven-year-old son is he's going to design some golf log group rocks. We're going to hide them around the neighborhood and people that find them get gift certificates for local restaurants. Um, we're trying to, uh, you know, get the community back up and going, but at the same time, keep socially distance safe. So, yeah. Join very good. Attorney Goff, thank you for what you are doing. Of course, you can learn more over at thegothlawgroup.net. Thank you.